Uh, okay, so I'm here with uh, Lucy Blair, uh, Digital Marketing Manager at Ministry of Sound at Music Connected. So hi, Lucy, and uh, thanks for coming on. How's it going? Hi, Andrea. Really well, thank you. And thank you for having me. Uh, so first of all, you just uh, finished the uh, Digital Marketing Q&A. Yeah. What was the, the lowdown on that? And did you enjoy it? Yeah, I loved it. It was great. I think it's always a worry when you start a, a panel like that, which is just Q&A for an hour. You know, are we going to have enough questions? Will there be enough to talk about? And actually, that that wasn't an um, issue at all. Um, we managed to talk on one question for, I think, 25 minutes between the five of us yeah. panellists. Yeah. Um, it was great. It was really exciting. We had a lot of questions about... Um, how best to use your digital marketing budget for online advertising yeah. um, and what what are the best forms of online advertising to make the most out of a small budget. Um, yeah, how you can promote up and coming artists uh, through social networks and websites. Um, what, you know, what channels drive the most traffic to websites. Um, you know, how to optimize your YouTube channels, um, how to optimize email marketing, uh, you know, and whether that's still important in this age, day and age when yeah. social marketing is kind of, you know, really taken the number one spot I guess yeah. Um, so yeah it was fantastic a really wide range of questions and it, it was really great to be a part of it and uh, Minister Summers of course is a huge brand you know it's, it's, it's everywhere and of course you have to follow everything that's going on <laughs> but what is the, your single biggest social channel at the moment um, our biggest channel is definitely well, I guess it's between Facebook and YouTube because we have uh, we have two main Facebook pages, but we have uh, several different YouTube channels. Yeah. Um, but Facebook overall is probably our number one. Yeah, exactly. And uh, uh, you, you know, you talked, to, you were talking in the prep about uh, some of the the stuff that's coming up on Ministry of Sound as well. Mm. So on the release front, anything exciting that we should be looking forward forward to? Yes, definitely. Um, we're particularly excited about Retro Two. Yeah. Um, his new single Blackout featuring Shaka is coming out on the twelfth of May, and then he'll also have a new album coming out later in 2013 uh, so look out for that one um, and we've also we have a new brand called speaker box which is a joint venture between mr jam and ministry of sound um, it's kind of a bass music label uh, we've got loads of great events coming up over the summer at different festivals including isle of white um, with people like mr jam nero chasing status uh, some great lineups and we'll also be releasing singles um, and artists released on speaker box with artists like decibel and majestic so look out for that Awesome. And uh, uh, looking at the, the evolution of social media for music, uh, mm -hmm. uh, of course, Twitter music is something that is it's really being buzzing this week and we don't, we don't yet know what's, what's, what, what it's going to be. In your fantasy football sort of game of, uh, of social media and what, what you'd like to see on the service, mm -hmm. uh, what, what do you expect? What, what, what would you like to see? Oh, such a good question. Um, <laughs> Well, first of all, I hope they release it soon because I'm getting really annoyed with them. They're teasing. <laughs> You're really, really fed up with that. Yeah, I just want to use it now. Um, I mean, there's been a lot of speculation, obviously. There's been reports that um, the code in the Twitter Music page uh, shows integrations with SoundCloud and Spotify and various different streaming services, uh, which sounds great. Um, I mean... Personally, this is slightly veering off the question, but personally, in terms of online mu music services, I think there's a big issue of a lack of interoperability between them. Um, and I think it would actually be better for the music scene and better for artists and labels in general if the music services worked together more closely to cross-promote each other, because ultimately it's only going to do the music industry uh, good. Um, but I really hope that it's going to... Um, lead to music, easier music discovery for a start obviously uh, better music creation across Twitter kind of not just relying on you know a hashtag um, and I guess ultimately from a marketing and sales point of view it'd be great if you can discover new music um, and then purchase directly within the app as well you know I guess that's the ultimate goal of course and then <laughs> and if you can watch a video on YouTube whilst uh, linking up to yeah. com competitors on the streaming s s side and also purchase the track then it's a win for everybody I think so exactly yeah if you're able to to view that content and consume content from all different kinds of music platforms within Twitter kind of discover different types of music content um, and, and have a kind of better curation and, and discovery service and then also have in-app purchasing at the same time that's what I'm really hoping for that's great well uh, check out ministry.sound uh, ministryofsound.com for more information and thanks a lot Lisa thanks Andrea